Hello, this is Chef John from FoodWishes.com with Italian Rice Croquettes, also known as rice balls, if you form them into balls. But this video was shot at a recent family dinner at my Uncle Bill and Aunt Angela Dardawini's house, and I really, really love these, and I wanted to show you how they make them. So here we go. Now you can make these completely vegetarian if you want, but we like to do chicken giblets. That's right, gizzards, a few hearts. I got a couple pounds there. Uncle Bill puts them in a pressure cooker with a little bit of water, about a cup, and some salt. And he cooks those in the pressure cooker for about 15-20 minutes until tender. And yes, pressure cooker lids are hard to get on. Anyway, 18 minutes or so later, our giblets were done. Simply drain them and let them cool a little bit. And then we're going to chop those up. So besides the giblets, we're also going to need, of course, rice. So we're going to boil two cups of rice in salted water. All right, when it was nice and tender, we dumped it onto a sheet pan to cool down a little bit. We want to work with this while it's warm but not hot. So I'm just going to leave that on the sheet pan till it cools, transfer it into a large bowl, and the rice is ready to go. All right, once our chicken gizzards and hearts were cool enough to handle, Uncle Bill chopped them coarsely in a food processor, just a couple on and offs. He likes it really chunky. See that? Still pretty big pieces. And you can certainly do that by hand. And once those were all chopped up, we added them to our warm rice. And that's basically the base of the rice croquette. All right, so that's ready for the rest of the ingredients. And I got to give you a little warning. I will have all the specifics on the blog, as I said, as far as amounts. But they're not real big on measuring stuff around here. So we're going to guesstimate. You really just wing it. But I'll get you close. So we're going to put in a couple cups of grated Parmesan cheese. You could use Pecorino Romano. Any nice grated Italian cheese will work. Some fresh parsley which Uncle Billy doesn't usually put, but we kind of forced him because we had some. A little bit of breadcrumb, a couple eggs, and a little bit of marinara sauce. All right, not too much. And that's basically it. So I volunteered here to mix it up. I grabbed the wooden spoon and I started mixing. And you really want to get this thoroughly, thoroughly mixed. And at this point, Uncle Billy slapped my hand and said, what the hell are you doing? We don't use a spoon for that. We use our hands. So he washed his hands and he got in there and he got in there deep and he mixed this properly. So you want to use your hands for this. You want it really, really thoroughly combined. You're just going to go in there and you're going to mix it and fold it and smash it together until it looks like that. Then before we form the balls or the croquettes, depending on what you're into, we're going to wrap that and we're going to refrigerate that for about an hour until it cools down and it will firm up nicely. Makes it much, much easier to form. All right, so this was about an hour or so later. You can let it go longer. But you definitely want to let it cool down and then you form your croquettes and of course we're not measuring this either he just takes out a little bit and forms it with his hands into the classic croquette kind of a football shape american football that is not that you know boring stuff the rest of the world plays and calls football all right and the rest of the process could not be simpler after your rice balls or your rice croquettes are formed you're going to simply roll those in plain breadcrumbs until they're coated, it's gonna stick very easily to that semi-sticky rice, and that is it. So we line those up on pans. You can do these way ahead of time if you want, and it's never a one-person operation. My mother Pauline was rolling them, my Aunt Angela was rolling them, so they're not really authentic Italian croquettes, unless the whole family pitches in. Once your rice croquettes are breaded, we're gonna simply pan fry those in some vegetable oil. We put about an inch of oil in a heavy skillet on medium high heat, and you're just gonna cook those nice and brown. Now, Uncle Billy was very insistent that these should go pretty dark brown. I thought they were ready to turn there, and he was like, no, don't turn them yet. So I listened to him. Why? Because he knows what the heck he's doing. He's done these a thousand times. So when he thought they were brown enough, we turned them over, okay? But nothing too complicated. Just brown them on all sides. Everything in there is basically cooked. You're just heating them through and getting a nice crispy outside. Now, I really love the chicken gizzards in there. But where the meat is exposed to the oil, it does get a little darker than the rice. But I don't think that looks bad at all. And of course, the parsley cooked a little dark too. But again, that's an optional ingredient. Uncle Billy normally does not put parsley. But like I said, we had some fresh parsley and we basically made him add some. Once they're browned all over, you're going to transfer those to a paper towel to drain and serve immediately. These should be served nice and hot. We like to throw some fresh lemon on the plate. You can also serve this with some tomato sauce or an aioli. You know, pretty much anything works. They're so delicious. And there you go. You know what's coming next, right? 
I'm going to bite into one of these. And it's so good. The cheese, the rice, the little bit of tomato, and of course the chicken gizzards and hearts make it awfully good. Just a great rustic, homey, comforting, delicious snack or appetizer. Great for parties. So thank you so much, Uncle Billy and Aunt Angela. Love you guys. Thanks for sharing the recipe. All the information is on foodwishes.com, as usual. And as always, enjoy. Enjoy.